uh, Charles, what about the House Intelligence Committee chairman, Mike Rogers, saying, imagine how the American people would react if Al-Qaeda killed one of our troops or military leaders and put the photos of the body on the Internet. I mean, don't we see that time and time again? Uh, Daniel Pearl, uh, all kinds of examples of, of that happening. Uh, I, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, I'm not sure what... Uh what planet he's been living on in the last 10 years. That is the modus operandi of Al-Qaeda and other, other jihadists. They have actually shown the live execution of some of their hostages in the past. I'm not sure we ought to be comparing ourselves with them. We ought to be applying American standards. I can understand if the president's decision is based exclusively on consideration of, say, our di diplomats abroad, you don't want to take the risk. I would disagree, but that's a respectable conclusion but for the president to say that this is not who we are we don't go about displaying trophies we don't spike the football is there anybody any serious american any serious leader in the country who's proposing the release as a way of strutting the only reason you want to release it is to prove he's dead uh, especially in parts of the world where there'll be all kind of a mythology. The only reason the president ordered the raid the way he did, a risky operation, he could have used the predator and destroyed that the compound and, 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 and reduced uh, bin Laden to a cinder. The reason he ordered a raid, a risky operation, is to produce the proof of death. We, we did not enter into all this in order to produce a trophy. I'm not sure why the president has this sort of almost compulsive need to morally preen that he's not spiking the football when I haven't heard anybody who wants to, to do it for that reason. It's only yeah, to AB, put away conspiracies. To